period. And then what do you do with your No, it's nice. It's no more years. Okay, so. That shows your position. You just get up and do it. It's a little zone. I don't want to get this. Okay, I just want to start off, first of all, by thanking all the musicians in here tonight, guys. Come on. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Hey, what's that the thing, y'all? <laughs> so the request was the hills are alive with the sound of music. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, uh, in all seriousness, I'm very excited uh, to see what's happening here in Tampa, and I think that we've got some amazing folks that are here in Florida, and I know come um, opening day of the Republican National Convention. We're going to see thousands of people that are going to step off from Romneyville with us at 3 o'clock. Is that right, Bruce? Correct. And uh, we're going to make history. You know, the saying that uh, so goes the South, so goes the nation. We have an extra responsibility here uh, to ensure the, the participation and the education uh, people that are here in Florida. So um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, and I'm so excited that there's so many people that finally, finally broke ties with the Democratic Party. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. You know, and I've been saying that all along uh, because it's a scary thing to do. I dug my heels in really hard. Um, my family, if it, there's a little secret about my family. I don't, don't know why it's secret, but it's secret. But there's mostly people of color in my immediate family. So there's Native American, Puerto Rican, African American, uh, Sudanese, and uh, family members from Kenya. So we have like the Rainbow Coalition. So we were, <laughs> <laughs> we, have, you know, we have the International Rainbow Coalition, and um, so we were very, very, very uh, involved in Obama's campaign. So it was a very big thing for us. Um, actually, it wasn't so big when we began to really understand that we have only have a one-party system in this country yes. that protects the wealthy. And it's that one party system that's killing our children, killing our planet, and robbing of us of a future. Right. And so at the expense of being called spoilers, mm -hmm. at the expense of you know, whatever it is that they might say to us, we know that this is a campaign that's about courage. It's about doing God's will in whatever form that we see God. And it's about taking our country back and creating that kind of future for all of us. So thank you. I'm blessed to be in a room full of amazing leaders. Thank you. I'll say that next time that I'm down here, I haven't had some rehearsal lately. But uh, one thing that I will say is, you know, we're old school here. And we know how to do things the, the, the hard way. If we don't have money for signs, there's artists in Florida. <coughs> and we can make the Jill Stein, Sherry Conkula signs. We can Xerox papers. We can paint them. We can write the songs that need to be sung. And we can <coughs> utilize social media. We can write the editorials. Uh, send out the Facebook notices, do whatever we possibly can, because this is not a symbolic campaign. And history doesn't go in a straight line. What happened in Tunisia can happen in the United States of America. Yes. Here, here. We can create here, here. mental yeah. change and we can create history. Thanks. From my number one heckler in the audience, please. <laughs> Sherry, when you when y'all win and in office, uh, are you gonna ch are you gonna be changing the national anthem to the poor people's national anthem? Uh, well, uh, you know, 
it's going to be all about participation and democracy. And so you can lead that um, by being a part of one of our task forces or one of our cabinets. Uh, so I'm not capable of that. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. The, the leaders you're looking for are right in this room. Yes. So uh, whatever changes that we think needs to be made, we're responsible for ensuring that we bring them into this party, that we grow this party, and that um, we raise the consciousness of people out there. I thought for many years I could just sit myself out of electoral politics, and then it was like, oh my God, they're killing us. They're incarcerating us. They're taking our schools away. I can't sit it out anymore. No. None of us can. Yes. Only about 20% of our population actually votes. That's correct. Even less here. Yes. It's like 15% here forward. Yes. Okay. Uh, who are but did you see what just even happened in this room tonight? Everybody was filling out that voter registration. Yes. Thing. And that's a personal decision, and that's a deep decision. At least it is for me. And so this is what, that has how easy it has been. I've been traveling across the country. People are just taking stacks. Spending a couple minutes with people and like explaining to them, you know, this is what this means, and people are switching just like this. You know, Malcolm Max used to say, you know, um, was it Malcolm or was it Martin? You know, sometimes their geniusness blends together. But he used to talk about how um, people were, you know, being born in this movement, you know, in a matter of seconds. Uh, because of uh, the conditions that were taking place and the money that was being spent in Vietnam uh, to kill other poor folks. Well, the fact that we're spending uh, trillions more dollars in private monies to fund, continue to fund war uh, while our children are facing no future, um, that kind of um, situation can change. It can change with a political party that truly represents all of us. Yes. Okay, at the last RNC, we had Rosen and them. They was running, and they was talking about different things when they got in the White House and stuff and painted and stuff. And then when Obama was running, everyone thought they were going to paint the White House or black or whatever. Do you have any ideas of change for the White House when you get there? Are you already there? We know that. We're claiming it in the name of Jesus. But what, you know, are you going to change the color? One class, one cause. Let's put multi colors around the color. Uh -huh. okay.